The Dark Sea update is right around the corner, but are you ready to brave the waves of the ship? I'm assuming you aren't, since you clicked on this video. In this video, I'll be going over all the ship items you need for the Dark Sea. First of all, the Dark Sea is separated into ranges. For the first range, you only need 45 stability to not take damage from rough waves. For every range after that, you need 85 stability to not take damage from rough waves. Keep this in mind when entering on expeditions. Luckily, the new ship added to Argon Odyssey called the Brig has a base stability of 75. This is way more than enough to enter the first range. The only downside is, it costs 20,000 galleons. Luckily for you, I've already made a god in the best way to earn galleons without ever touching a cargo box. So you must be thinking, about our Chrono? The Brig only has 75 stability. We need 85 to not take damage past the first range. I am well aware of this fact. This is why we'll need a ship hole with at least 10 stability. The only problem is, the current highest stability hole in the game, the bronze framing hole, only gives 9% stability to your ship. This is why we'll want to enchant it with straw. To raise the amount of stability, it gives all the way up to 19%, which is more than enough stability. Another option for your hole is a reinforced wooden hole, which gives 13,050 defense, which is way less than the bronze framing hole's 20, 27,000. But in exchange, it gives 4% stability and 7 speed, which isn't that good of a trade off considering it costs the same amount of galleons to craft. Do keep in mind that all defense given from hulls is going to double in the Dark Sea update, so it might not be as bad. Along with a good hull, your brig is going to need cannons. This is a much tougher choice, as most Arcanium cannons aren't that good. That is why as a standard recommendation, I'm going to say strong bronze culverins as a standard Dark Sea cannons, until we see the new ones. It's good for damage, and it's even better range, should work for every situation. Another ship part we should discuss is the ram. This is just as tough as the cannons, but with some research, I've decided that any Arcanium ram with above 1.3 thousand damage and 1.5 speed should work fine. This means things like the base Arcanium ram, snow ram, shadow ram, lightning ram, and others should work fine. As for enchant, if your ram is very high damage like earth, I would run hard for the extra defense on your ship so you don't immediately destroy HP. The dark sea is all about longevity, not quick kills. Also on our ship, we have ship attachments. Honestly, run whatever you want as long as it matches your build. Don't run nets if you aren't running vitality, harpoons on warlock, etc. In conclusion, the Dark Seer requires above 85 stability to travel through without any sea damage. Use a strong bronze hull, and for cannons, use strong bronze culverins. As for affording a brig though, check out this video after you're done. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss an upload, and that's all for this video, Arcano out.